excited, I think. <laughs> um, but it's the encounter. So we're just going to recap the encounter mission statement. So at an encounter service, our aim, our vision is to see young and old worshipping together, praying together, learning together. So we see unity across all ages as we celebrate God, we celebrate his gift of Jesus. And today in particular, we celebrate the gift of the Holy Spirit. So our call to worship is from Psalm 104. And it says this, it says, when you send your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord enjoy, endure forever. And the next one, Katie. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. And in just a moment, we are going to sing praise to God. But before we do, we're going to welcome each other by sharing the peace. So if you want to, you can turn, you can shake hands, you can hug, you can do the old fashioned greet each other with the peace. If you prefer to still keep your distance, then we'll recap the sign language, which is peace be with you. Go for it. <laughs> wonderful so we're going to praise god as we sing together like the verse of that psalm said and we're going to sing two songs to start with. We're going to start with the splendor of our King, how great is our God. And then we're going to follow it up with our God is a great big God. So if you want to stand, sing, dance, jiggle around, jump up and down, you know, feel free, just come and worship God as you are this morning. Yes, we are. We're going to take the offering up during this song. They're waving the bag at me. Clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide. And trembles at his voice, and trembles at his voice. Beginning and 
our next song, Our God is a Great Big God. It's a holiday club favourite. It's a Sunday club favourite. So we're going to do it. We're going to do the actions. Bethany has told me she is not doing the actions. So if you want to do the actions, she's hurt her wrist. She's hurt her wrist. Any excuse. Any excuse. So if you want to do the actions, then please do follow me. Um, I'm sure that the children will join in. There are instruments as well, but there's no pressure to do the actions if you don't want to. I won't be doing the actions, obviously. <laughs> Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond our wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began how wonderful to be a part of god's amazing plan it's harder with one hand our god is a great big god our god is a great big god our god is a great big god and he holds us in his hands He's higher than a skyscraper and it's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond our wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Oh, well done. It was great to see so many of you joining with actions. It's fab. Um, Liz is going to come and lead us in our prayers this morning. Good morning. So for our prayer this morning, hopefully enough of you now have got bubbles. We're going to use our bubbles in our prayers. At Pentecost, which we're celebrating today, the Holy Spirit came like the rushing of wind. So we're having some prayers using bubbles to represent the Holy Spirit. So we thought if you could get into small groups, you can turn if you want to. Um, and we're going to have some time for each each type of prayer, we're going to have prayers of praise about what's fantastic about God, saying thank you, where we share things that we want to say thank you to God for. Um, where uh, we're going to have prayers of sorry, where we say sorry to God for things that we that we've done, and prayers where we say please, where we ask God for things that we need. So with each prayer, you can blow a bubble to represent the Holy Spirit. If you want to say prayers quietly to yourself and just blow bubbles, then that's fine too. So I'll give you a minute to, to get into small groups if you want to. So let's pray and offer our prayers of praise to God.
Lord God, we praise you for how wonderful you are. And now we bring you our prayers of thanks. Lord God, we thank you for all that you've done for us. And sometimes we don't do what you want us to, and we bring you our prayers of confession. So we want to say sorry. God, we thank you for forgiving us and we bring you our prayers for things. I'm a red one. God, we ask that you would hear our prayers and fill us with your presence. Carry us as the wind carries these bubbles and keep us safe in your love. Hear our prayers. Amen.
So now Vanessa is going to lead us in some activities, which is quite exciting. I think this one's quite excited for us. Oh, we're quite excited. <laughs> um, yeah, this is this is the bit that I get to lead. It's all of the all of the good fun stuff. Um, so this part is going to come with a health warning. Then there's two of them. Okay, I'm definitely going to need some assistance. Anyone who comes forward to help me, I'm just assuming that I've got permission to go on YouTube because um, that is happening today. So if there's not, um, please let me know afterwards and we'll think about what we can do. But really, we need this on YouTube because it's going to be so fun and exciting. Um, and the second one is that it might get messy and loud. So I definitely need at least two people to help me. Do you want to help? So I've got, got one. one volunteer here. Anybody else wanting to help? Oh, thanks, Sue. Brilliant. Right, Riley, you're going to need that. Oh, yeah. So that's really important. And we may need some safety goggles. Do you want some safety goggles? There we go. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 you're good, you're good. Oh, lost your app, sorry. Now, I'm not saying that you're definitely going to need ear defenders, but if you want ear defenders, they're in the box. <laughs> it may or may not be sensible, but they're there if you want them. So what we're doing today, while they're getting themselves ready, is we're thinking about the Holy Spirit and when the Holy Spirit came at Pentecost. And Liz is going to tell us a little bit more about that later, but I wanted to demonstrate what the Holy Spirit's like. Okay, and I've got three different ways to do that. So the first one is going to take a little bit. Oh, no, we don't need that in there, sweetheart. Might stop the experiment. We'll come to the red one first. Okay. I'm going to need a Pepsi bottle and a funnel and some hot water first. So, Sue, I might ask you to do this bit. Could you put about an inch of hot water into the bottle, please? Okay, so what we're doing here is we're mixing yeast and sugar and hopefully there should be a reaction um, slightly more to about there, I think. That's more than enough. That's brilliant. Thank you. Right, Riley, your job. Are you ready, Riley? You can do this one. We're going to pour some yeast into the hot water. All of it? Yep, a whole packet. Right, and then cool. we need to get a little bit of a spin when it's in. Okay. So we are like the yeast and the water. That's the idea. So we're like the yeast and the hot water. And there we go. So we just need to give it a swell so that it's all mixed in. So the water should then turn brown. Brilliant. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. And then we're going to put in three packets of sugar, Riley. So there's the packets of sugar there. If you're doing this at home, it's one packet of yeast. And it's about a teaspoon of sugar. That's it. Yes, well done, Riley. And then we just give that another little, another little shake. Fab. And then, so that we can see what's going on, we're going to put a balloon over the top of the bottle. And then we're just going to sit and leave it. So sometimes the Holy Spirit comes and we can just sit and leave it. And it will do its thing, but it might take its time. So this one, we're just going to sit and leave it and wait and see what the Holy Spirit does. Okay, that's it. Just leave it. It's all good. So I'm going to pop that there. And we're just going to sit and leave it and watch. Okay. Right. Are you ready for some fun science? We look totally excited. Okay. I'm excited. The Holy Spirit is also like this. Let me move that. 
and that. So here, we are like bicarbonate of soda. Has anyone ever described you as bicarbonate of soda? It might be a first, but you are like bicarbonate of soda. And the Holy Spirit is a bit like some vinegar in a pipette. There you go, I'll let you have one as well, Sue. And all you have to do is pour the vinegar onto the bicarbonate of soda to see what the Holy Spirit will do. Yep. Whoa. I don't know if we might need to zoom in just a little bit closer on the camera, Katie, if we can. If we can go like right in on the plate. That's it, keep going. What you might be able to see starting to happen is that as they're adding the vinegar, it's all fizzing up. I don't know. Can you see that clearly on the TV, on the picture? If I hold it like that, look, one second. Can you see there? It's all fizzing up. So sometimes the Holy Spirit's like a bit of a gentle fizz. Okay, so I'm going to clear that one away. There's one more thing that the Holy Spirit is like. Now, this one we are going to need the ear defenders for. You're going to need the ear defenders for this one. The balloon's blowing up, is it? I don't know how much trouble I'm going to get in for this one, but it's fine. It's all good. But we are going to clear the table. I'll run. I'll run. Okay. Sometimes the Holy Spirit, or sometimes we're like a bottle of Coke. Let's start with there. Sometimes we're like a bottle of cola. Um, could I get someone to take the lid off the cola bottle, please? Are <laughs> they too good, the ear defenders? Yeah. And the Holy Spirit is a bit like it's four because I've tested it. Three. Now these have to go in really, really quick. Okay. Sometimes we're like a bottle of diet cola. It has to be diet. Full fat Pepsi doesn't work. After five experiments in the driveway, <laughs> it has to be diet cola. And sometimes the Holy Spirit is like four, definitely not one. Again, five experiments in the driveway. Mentors. And when we pray and we get the Holy Spirit, it does something a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, you might want to run as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. And the reaction and the impact can be massive and quick. But it's still going. If you look, the reaction of the Holy Spirit didn't just last for the initial impact. It's still going. It's still bubbling and it's still fizzing. And, and it will do for quite a while as well because the mentors will eventually completely dissolve because my dad didn't want to drink the Coke afterwards. <laughs> so there we go. The Holy Spirit in three different ways. If you look, actually, we're starting to get a reaction on our balloon. Nice and gentle, nice and slow. It's not really doing a huge amount, it looks like. But the yeast and the, and the sugar are reacting and that's inflating the balloon a bit like the Holy Spirit. Nice and gentle and nice and slow. There we go. And I've just realized I still haven't asked anybody to come and do my reading <laughs> as we're about to go to the next bit. And I can't remember, are you all right to do it on the... Are you sure? Thanks, Sue. You can tell I've been organised over half term. <laughs> I want to do it again. You want to do it again? <laughs> Was it really fun? That's, that, that's maybe an activity for the driveway at home, right? Yeah, maybe we can do it at home. Maybe you could find out if different types of drink have a oh, different reaction. Oh, that would be interesting. Um, it's on the screen. It'll be on the screen. Uh, distance classes. Distance classes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sue. <laughs> Um, our reading today is from Acts chapter 2 and it's describing um, what happened when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples um, at the first Pentecost. But I 
I want to help. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised the voice, his voice, and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk, as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Jill, thank you. It was a bit hot for not it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream of dreams. Even on... Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. Is that it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sue. Can we give Sue a clap? And in fact, Riley as well for helping out. I seem to have adopted a child. It's all good. Um, we're going to sing again and we're going to sing um, what we're going to say, Shine Jesus Shine, which talks about the Holy Spirit coming um, in the chorus. I can't remember the exact words, but it is in there. Um, what I was going to say was sometimes you'll see people at the front waving their arms around while we're singing. It's a bit like doing the actions in Our God is a Great Big God. It's just another way of using our bodies to demonstrate our love and our praise for God. So if you want to do that as well, if that's something that's helpful to you, then please do join in. There's also instruments. If you want to shake a shaker, there's no time to party like Pentecost. So come and grab an instrument or a, or a ribbon as well. I know, I'm going to have to go and pass you to someone now, though, sweetheart. All right. Your love is shining in the midst of the darkness, shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this light. shadows into your radiance by the blood i may enter your brightness search me try me consume all my darkness shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine fill this land with the father's glory your kingly 
great brightness so our faces display your likeness ever changing from glory to glory mirrored here may our lives tell your story shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine Oh, that's starting to fizz over. <laughs> it didn't do that. <laughs> um, we're going to sit down. We're going to listen to Liz as she tells us all about what happened that first day. Thanks, Liz. So in the Bible reading that we just heard Jesus's disciples felt the Holy Spirit come down and fill them up. I imagine it was quite chaotic and a bit, a bit of a, a crazy time, a bit chaotic like it is this morning, which is wonderful. They heard a rushing of wind and some people saw the Holy Spirit as flames or tongues of fire. Some people felt it give them the ability to speak and understand languages. The Holy Spirit can come to us all differently. As Ness was explaining with our science experiments this morning, sometimes it can be big and explosive. Sometimes it can be, it can be, feel like a fizzing. And sometimes it can be a little bit slower and more gradual and not as obvious, just like this balloon. As you can see, it's slowly inflating. Sometimes we can feel these big, obvious, exciting things. Sometimes it can be calmer and slower. But the Holy Spirit is there and it's available to everyone who follows Jesus and, ex and accepts the Holy Spirit into their hearts. So today I hope to address the question, what is the importance of the Holy Spirit? Why do we need the Holy Spirit and why did God give us this gift? So first of all, the Holy Spirit supports us, just like a friend supports us. I'm sure we all have a, a friend or a family member, someone in our lives who supports us and helps us when we're in trouble. I've always found my sister to be really supportive. She's always there for me when I'm struggling. I always know that she's going to listen to me and help comfort me in times of trouble and distress. I send her strings and strings and strings of WhatsApp messages that she patiently reads and responds and tries to calm me down, acknowledges my feelings and helps me to feel better. And the Holy Spirit can be like that friend to us. It can be the calm in the storm of life, in the chaos always there in our hearts ready to wrap us up in God's love it inspires us and lifts our spirits and provides us with the motivation and the hope of God and the future in God's kingdom in John 14 it says I will talk to the father and he'll provide you another friend so that you will always have someone with you this friend is the spirit of truth so the Holy Spirit supports us. The Holy Spirit also guides us like a map through the journey of life. A map sets out the path ahead of us and shows us where to go and how to get there. 
the Holy Spirit guides us where God's, God wants us to go and shows us what we need to do, how we need to live and how we ought to approach others. Now, I, I talk about maps. I'm very aware that we live in an age of technology where we have uh, SatNav and Google Maps. I myself am a heavy, heavy user of the Google Maps. What I love about Google Maps is that it's live. So it updates you of anything that changes or anything that's new or different. So I might think that I know the way to go because I've, I've driven that road and I know where I'm going. But then Google Maps will say, actually that road is currently shut. So you probably better go this way or there's some roadworks there, which we're all familiar with at the moment. And Google Maps reroutes me and tells me, actually, it's better to go this way to get to your destination. So I love that wisdom, the wisdom that the Holy Spirit also brings us, a perspective of oversight and boundless knowledge that's far greater than our own. The Holy Spirit guides us in ways that we couldn't possibly think of ourselves. But that said, I do still keep a paper map in my glove box as instructed by my dad, who is very old fashioned, because as we all know, batteries run out. Which leads me to my third point about what's important about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives us what we need. It equips us just like a battery in a phone or a torch. A phone with Google Maps on is fantastic as long as it's a charged battery. Otherwise, it's a bit useless and it, it won't tell me where to go. In the same way, a torch is very, very helpful. It guides us and shines a light on things we can't see. It helps us to find our way. However, without a battery, a torch is also useless. Without that power inside it, it doesn't work. But once we put a battery in, once we put a battery in, it gains power and it shines the light on us and on other people and shows us the path ahead clearly. The Holy Spirit gives us that power. It equips us and gives us what we need. The Holy Spirit gives us gifts, enables us to tap into the power of God himself in order to further the kingdom, just like Peter says. Some people saw visions, some people saw tongues of fire and heard a rushing wind, and others could talk and understand other languages. The Holy Spirit can also equip us in less obvious ways. The Holy Spirit puts people around us to help us feel the Holy Spirit when we might not be listening or we may be less able to hear what God's saying to us, just like my sister. And I'd also like to tell you about Rob, who every time I drive and he sits in the back seat, he always repeats what Google Maps has said because he knows that sometimes I'm not actually listening. And I'll say, what, what was that? What did it just say? Because I was too busy talking or listening. And he repeats it and says, no, it said to go this way. There have been so many times when I've missed a nudge from the Holy Spirit or I've missed something, some, some sign from God of what I need to do. And Rob, as well as other people in my life, have pointed it out to me and said, actually, I think this is what you need to do. I think this is what you're being told. So the Holy Spirit is important because it comforts us and helps us in our distress. The Holy Spirit guides us and shows us where to go and how to live. And the Holy Spirit gives us what we need. It equips us. It gives us people around us 
energy, motivation, and power, like a battery and a torch, to help us shine God's love on others. The Holy Spirit is in each, or, each of us and gives us that power and that guidance and that comfort that we need every day. Amen. So we're now going to have an opportunity to respond to the gift of the Holy Spirit and what we've learned here today. During our response time, you'll have the opportunity to move around. There's a few different stations. Um, if you want to just um, quietly pray or if you want to find someone to pray with, um, if there's anything burning in your heart that you want to pray about, or you can go and tie a ribbon onto the represent to remember that even though we can't always see the Holy Spirit, it is always there. And then I think there's a, a spiral spinner to make that you can make and take home with you to remind you of the Holy Spirit in your life. I think that's on here. So we're going to have some music playing um, and a few minutes to move around the stations or pray and respond as you There's, there's tables at the back and at the front if you want to make a spiral wind spinner to take home as a reminder. If you want to come and tie your piece of wool, we haven't got any ribbons, if you want to come and tie it on a fan that's down in this bottom corner, um, or if you want to sit and pray, or ask someone to pray for you, either stay in your seat, or if you want to come forward, feel free to come forward as well. Well, I think that the song's coming to an end. It's about a seven minute song. So you've had, you've had about seven minutes. Um, all these activities are still gonna be available during the, the second half of what we're gonna do and, um, and when we're finished as well. So please do feel free to continue. Um, I'm just going to pray to sum up everything that, that we've been doing and thinking about in the last kind of seven or eight minutes. Um, so if you just want to pray with me, that would be great. Lord God, we thank you that on Pentecost you did come um, and you rested upon your disciples, that you filled them, giving them the fire and the ability to go out and spread your news into the world. God, we thank you that you have given us that ability to, that you don't just leave the Pentecost and the Holy Spirit back then, but it's available now. And so I pray for all of those people who have tied ribbons to fans, who have decorated spiral wind sheets, who have just sat and prayed. God, I pray that you will bless them with the gift of your Holy Spirit. God, I pray that they will have a passion for you burning in their hearts, that they want to then go and tell people about. They can't contain it. So come and be with each one of us now. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to sing two songs to finish with. Um, both of them, I think, are, are filled. We're going to excite us and get us dancing and moving. They certainly did last year. So we're going to sing Send the Fire Today. Um, I know Bethany is excited about that one. She's even promised a ribbon. Yes, she did. She, she did promise a ribbon. So she's going to have a ribbon. Um, I think Rachel's getting a one anyway, so there's no choice there. <laughs> Um, so there's ribbons, there is musical instruments, you've got bubbles as well, but let's have a party, send the fire today, and then teach me to dance, the Holy Spirit comes, God sends the fire, and then it teaches us to dance to God's heart, to move with him, and to tell people about him. 
Let's have a party. clapping let's clap why not it's good <laughs> clapping why not teach me to dance to the beat of your heart teach me to move in the power of your spirit teach me to walk in the day of your coming teach me to dance to the beat of your heart are you dancing Alfie yeah Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. Teach me to move in the power of your spirit. Teach me to walk in the light of your presence. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. Teach me to love with your heart of compassion. Teach me to trust in the word of your promise. Teach me to hope in the day of your coming. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. You have the rhythm of life, created heaven and earth. In you is joy without measure. So like a child in your sight, I dance to see your delights. For I was made for your pleasure. Pleasure. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. Teach me to move in the power of your spirit. Teach me to walk in the light of your presence. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. Teach me to love with your heart of compassion. Teach me to trust in the way of your coming. Teach me to hope in the day of your coming. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. Let all my movements express a heart that loves to say yes, a will that leaps to obey you. Let all my energy blaze to see the joy in your face. Let my whole being praise you, praise you. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. 
dance to the beat of your heart. Teach me to move in the power of your spirit. Teach me to walk in the light of your presence. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. Teach me to love with your heart of compassion. Teach me to trust in the word of your promise. Teach me to hope in the day of your coming. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. Teach me to dance to the beat of your heart. I'm now covered in glitter, which is wonderful. Let the joy of the Holy Spirit spread like this glitter. Amen. <laughs> and so our blessing today is taken from John chapter 4, verses 15 to 17. If you love me, show it by doing what I've told you. I will talk to the Father and he'll provide you another friend so that you will always have someone with you. This friend is the spirit of truth. The godless world can't take him in because it doesn't have eyes to see him, doesn't know what to look for. But you know him already because he has been staying with you and will even be in you. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>